Welcome to this episode of the Golf Blabcast, brought to you by the team at Network and Golf. <laughs> Everyone, and good evening, and welcome to episode three of Networking Golf Golf Blabcast. Uh, I am Scott Gumbar, and um, this is Colin Ferrari Bader. I got to remember the Bader all the time. Uh, we are going to be talking to shoot the owners of Shoot Trainer, Jennifer and Rory, uh, but they've had they're having some technical difficulties, so we're waiting for them to come back on. Uh, but in the meantime, we are networking golf. Um, Colin, you want to tell everybody about networking golf? Because Fred really First wants of all, to know that order. is one nice shirt you're wearing, Scott Gumbar. I know, you know, <laughs> I got it as a gift from someone I know. Who is that? Um, so, I got uh, it as a gift from, from Colleen over here. Welcome, Frank. Hey, Frank. Thanks for joining us. So, um, hey, um, I'm Colleen Ferrari. I am the owner and founder of Small Business USA. We've been doing that for quite a while. And um, and I am partners with Scott Gumbar in Networking Golf. Networking Golf was just kind of a, a natural extension of what we do. And um, we're pretty excited about it because it's probably one of the coolest things. So, um, I don't know. You want to talk about Networking Golf, Scott? This is... Sure, while we're waiting for... Go. I'll rock, paper, scissors. Can. <laughs> no, that's not that. So networking golf is um, well. It's got a, a couple of Frankie loves golf. We we love golf too, Frankie. We're not. I'm not very good at it. Colleen's probably better than me, but we all love golf. Um, so networking golf really has two separate components. One being a membership site slash social media site slash networking slight site that um, golfers can go on and set up. Uh, not not actually they can set up foursomes with other golfers at area you know area courses and clubs in their area um, <clears throat> they can also um, their profile will allow them to set those foursomes up with people the types of people they want to golf with based on industry based on handicap and um, a few other factors but those are the, the primary factors um, Thank yeah, you, we, you don't even know the beginning of it, Frankie. It's so cool. Imagine, you know, and I know there's a lot of BNI people, but just for whatever reason, this conversation has been in the air lately. You know, the normal route to networking and building your business is you go to a networking event, then maybe have coffee, make a few phone calls, get to know them a little bit, and then go golf. What we've created is you. Oh, it's really the, um, the biggest referral source for um, business owners to play golf. You open your email on a pretty regular basis. Um, every it's three to four times a month, and there's an invitation with three people that you want to meet, and we call it industry complimentary. So you get invited to golf almost every week, um, which is really cool with people who can help your business, and um, you also can find foursomes and jump into a foursome, see who's on there. So that's, you know, that's a very cool thing. I mean, there is, it is such a multifunctional tool. So uh, we have hey, 25. Welcome back, Mark Rory and Jennifer. Sorry Hi. about that, guys. That's all right. No can you hear us so, now? Let's we answer, uh, now. let's just answer Fred's question real quick. Fred, by the way, we do need to talk because I do want to have you on as a guest down the road, uh, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, markets, we are, uh, Colleen said already, 25 different markets. Most of them are southern area markets for obvious reasons. Uh, the big ones like Phoenix and uh, Florida. But um, because we're in Connecticut where we can only golf seven months out of the year, we, we decided to do it here. Um, and uh, I think New York is on the list too, right? We have New York, Boston, um, D.C. All the metropolitan areas are covered. Um, 
but we, I mean, it's pretty easy to spread, but we're going to launch with 25. Yeah, Houston, there's four, four different cities, um, Houston, Austin, there's four different cities that we're covering in Texas. Houston is one of them. Yeah, Texas is a, is a big golf state too. So, yeah. Um, so we uh, are actually here today to talk to Jennifer and Rory. Oh, so you, for, this goes on that list. Yes, Sorry. It is. Um, Je <laughs> Jennifer and Rory of Shoe Trainer. And um, Mike was just on it. And I think he left, but it looks like he also works with, not. What, no, I'm sorry, Joshua. So he does he work with you guys as well? He does. Yes, he does. He does. Okay, awesome. We've known, so, we've known Joshua for, oh, probably about a year now, coming up on a year. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I'm, I'm glad to have you guys on. I'm glad Josh is here with us. Uh, so tell us about Shoot Trainer. So, you know, Shoot Trainer, um, the idea was born several years ago by one of our partners who had an idea on the softball fields here in Pocatello, Idaho, to strengthen his arm. And he started investigating wind resistance technology and utilizing the whole wind resistance to strengthen his arm. It's easy to carry that equipment around and, you know, it was better than uh, weights or going to a gym or something like that. So he brought his brother on board and they took that technology and adapted it to other sports, including golf. Um, Jen and I joined the company back in the summer of 2014. Uh, we own a digital media firm and these two brothers didn't really know where to go with the product or how to launch it. They had prototypes, but they had nothing else. So we ended up um, looking at the product, talking with these gentlemen. We saw the potential of it and we joined the company. So now we're partial owners in the business along with an investor. Um, one of the partners stepped away recently. Uh, one of the brothers from the company so there's four of us in it now and jen and i are the main people that are doing the day-to-day -day business for our shoe train so congratulations that's in, a pretty uh, exciting journey yeah it's it's had its ups and downs believe me you know anytime As ever, you trust me, i own small business usa i deal with business owners all the time it is a roller coaster but it starts off as a roller coaster you make the right pivots and it soars Remember right, that right. the downs are where you learn. It'll go up. You, you just have to hit that point. If you make the right pivots, it goes there. Yeah. And, and I think that's important too, right? Being flexible, uh, believing in the product, believing in yourself, being able to pivot quickly when there are problems and go in a different direction. So we've certainly faced a lot of those issues as a startup company, bootstrapping it. Um, but, you know, with the help of people like Joshua Dahlstrom with Right Site Marketing, and Kathy G. Jensen, who endorses our product, she's a 2014 PGA Teacher of the Year. That's helped us a lot. Um, we have a national sales team now, and we're in 15 retail stores within the last six weeks. Nice. Uh, that's been very, yeah, that's been very successful for us. And the golf shoot in particular, um, it's such a unique, different type of product. And maybe Jen could step around and, and grab one so I could hold it up for the viewers. Okay. But um, it's such a different product than what's out there on the market already that when we go to try, when we go to shows and we show it to people and they look at it, it's not intuitive as as to what it is, right? I mean, I could take something like this and it's a letter holder, and I could go to a show and everybody knows what this is, so they sell themselves if they need a letter holder. But um, they don't right away understand what a golf shoot is and what this product can do for them. We hear a lot of people say, oh, it's a gimmick. However, if people try it, they end up buying it. And simply what it is, if you can, get, if you can see this, it's a parachute bag um, with a clip on the end that goes on any standard PGA golf club right down by the head, USGA uh, standard golf club. You clip this on the head of the club and you swing the club, this catches just the right amount of air to target your fast twitch muscle fibers and prime those and fire them up so that when you take it off after just six to 10 swings with it, most people see an increase in club head speed of five to 10 miles an hour. We wow. call that the, the, the oh wow factor or yeah. we call it something else when we're not being recorded. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you know, this is like cable. You can kind of say what you want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's so, late night TV for us, so go for it. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's that, it's that oh shit moment, right? Yeah. And people, people tend to want to swing out of their shoes or they want to, you know, feel like they're going to throw the club. And it's it's been pretty remarkable, and it's a lot of fun to watch people um, try this product and see how it helps them. Our biggest challenge for our business right now, obviously money is always a challenge, and continuing to try and do all the marketing and, and get the product in the hands of people across the country, but to get people to understand what it is, particularly golfers, because there isn't anything – quite like it on the market today. So there's not an understanding already of what the product is. And there's a lot of gimmicks, as you guys know, in golf. Um, so they look at it at golf shows and they say, oh, this thing's kind of a gimmicky thing. But if I can get them to try it, if Jen can, she's a little more convincing than I am often because, you know, <laughs> she's much better looking than I am, let's face it. But um, if we get people to try it, they will get their friends to try it and their spouses to try it. And they normally walk away with the product or they get on a line after the show and they buy it. Um, so it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty cool. And the thing that's different with this product, it weighs less than five ounces. It's made of ripstop on the bottom, jersey mesh on the top, and we have six different colors that it comes in. So there's blue and red and orange and pink and you know this green here and ribbing, webbing, and of course our shoe trainer logo on the bottom so the thing that makes this so unique too is that you can carry it with you you can put it in your bag you can put it in your pocket and unlike a weighted club a lot of people will say hey that's just like putting a donut on your club but it isn't because if you've ever tried to you know swing a weighted club or put the donuts on there it, it tends to pull you away from your swing. And you're also incorporating accessory muscle fibers in there, not just the fast twitch muscle fibers. So our bodies are made up of two different types of muscle fibers, fast twitch muscle fibers, which are essential for speed, slow twitch muscle fibers, which are for endurance and heavy lifting. So if you add weights to your club, you're actually incorporating those other muscle fibers and accessory muscles to help balance that weight this doesn't add any weight, so all we're doing is targeting and priming those fast twitch muscle fibers. So we do have a question. Yes, we do. So, it, yep, Fred wants to know have, how does it attach to the club. There's a there's a clip if you guys can see that right at the bottom or right here. That clip just attaches right onto the onto the club. So I'm I'm using a pen as an example. Maybe this isn't the best thing, but it just. Yeah, down by the club head, you just snap it on, and, and it will swivel freely so it won't get hung up. Um, it won't fall off. There's a little ball on the end as well of this clip, so it doesn't get hung up, and it rotates freely, and you swing it just like there's nothing there. That's pretty cool. You know, I just think, it, and it's so accurate with training your muscles, which it, it seems is a huge win. Is there any way to tell if you're swinging incorrectly? Like, I swear once a year I develop a slice. I don't know where it comes from, and it takes me a few games to work it off, but every single year. Is there any way to kind of see, know when you swing it if you're, you know, if you're not on target? Well, what happens is it really doesn't change your swing drastically, so it works with any swing. So what you're doing is you're increasing your leg. So your sequence is actually improving. Your hips must clear before the rest of your swing comes through just because of the drag that this creates. So you're going to be correcting those um, shots that you're not so thrilled about without really changing the way you swing, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think we're always on this. You know, I think the most frustrating thing for me and most golfers about golf is you don't just get better every time you go out. I mean, you really have to work at it. So it's you do. what we found is that when people are training with the golf shoot three times a week, 10 minutes a day, they're creating that muscle memory. So when they actually go out and play, they've got great sequence, which is just aiding in their game. So their drives are longer and they're stronger, and they end up being straighter as well without really thinking about it too much. 
much because you've got that muscle, muscle memory that's really creating a great game. Oh, well, it's very cool. It's a, yeah, it's an it's a extremely simple product and a simple idea. And, you know, 20 years ago, when those Olympic sprinters were training and they started using the parachutes and running with the parachutes, they looked kind of foolish, right? Everybody's like, man, that's crazy. But now you'd be a fool if you were an Olympic athlete and you didn't train with one of those. We've just taken that same idea and that same concept, adapted it for golf clubs, baseball bats, throwing, tennis rackets or racquetball rackets, and hockey sticks and lacrosse sticks. Now, the whole last year we spent really promoting the golf product because it seemed to be the most intuitive and the, and the biggest wow factor when we could get people to try it. Um, now our bat shoe is starting to really take off and we're getting more and more sales on that product and people seeking us out for that product because there were similar products in the past like it right. and nobody makes them. Anymore. And we're, they're finding as they're out looking online, they can't find that product that they used to have, and now they're coming to us and they're buying them. And, and like I said, we don't even really promote it that much yet. But the golf shoot, uh, we spent a lot of time seeking out golf pros, PGA pros, teachers, golf academies, sending them samples, getting um, getting them the product in hand. And, and, of course, we see it all the time where people are like, Jeez, what's this goofy thing, you know? But as soon as they try it, they end up buying it. They get it in their shop. People love it. Um, we're getting more and more traction as a legitimate golf training aid in a golf product in the industry, which is pretty gratifying. What does it retail? I can imagine. We sell them um, online for $29.95. Oh, it's We started, yeah, when we first launched it, we were at $39, $39.99. But since then, we were able to source out better um, materials and other suppliers of the materials. So we got them cheaper. We are able to streamline our manufacturing, which is another important point of our company. Um, we believe in American-made products. We try to support America as much as possible, right? And I always kind of laugh every time I see on social media, somebody says, nothing's made in America anymore. And I always have to comment, our shoes are. Shoe Trainer is all made in America. It's made in Blackfoot, Idaho, which is about 20 miles up the road from us. And they hire people with disabilities, and they're the people that put this together for us. So we're supporting not only American jobs and local manufacturing here in our state, but also a population that's often overlooked and undervalued. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to hear that. So... You mentioned that um, you're, you're getting this in the hands of PGA players and uh, other people in the industry. Has that been a challenge for you, or can you tell us a little more about that process? Yeah, it has been a challenge. You know, we met Josh, who's on this, who's listening to the program tonight, and he works with Kathy G. Jansen, who is the 2014 PGA Teacher of the Year I mentioned before. She's the first woman to ever receive that award, which is pretty prestigious, right? Um, we met them at a golf show and approached them and said, you got it. Maybe I think it was Josh that came to us and was watching what we were doing, and he tried it, and Kathy came down, and immediately that, when she tried it, she loved it, and that's how the relationship started. And that them. was at our, just our second golf show, just the second time we had introduced this to the public. So we thought that was a pretty big win to have somebody with her experience and her, um, her accolades come to us and say, oh, this is a pretty cool product. Yeah, we... Oh. Now we lost... Yeah. We lost audio again on you. Can't hear you, Colleen. That's me. You. I had it on you. I, th I was hearing an echo. I thought it was me. I don't know where it's coming from, though. Um, I said, no, I, you could probably give it one to every, you know, every country club to a pro in every country club. It would be worth the investment because they'd probably sell the heck out of those things. Right. right. You know, we do a lot of, uh, we do some email blasts and, and we, we talk to people on the phone and we try to get the product into their hands. And, you know, people are busy. And if they're not exposed to the product beforehand and they're just looking at it kind of cold, you know, there's a lot of disbelief, and oh, I've 
seen that before because there's a, a million putter options and every driver says that they're going to add yards. You know, so a lot of people don't really believe it until they actually try the product. And I think that, you know, we've, we've tested this product over and over again with the pros that we do get uh, the product into their hands with, and, and they love it. We give a 30-day money-back guarantee. We haven't returned any money in over a year of having this product online. It's awesome. Um, it's, it's been great. And, you know, we have uh, Gary in, Gary Wyron, if you guys are familiar with him, he's got a, uh, an online store. He's down in Florida. He sells our product. Uh, ben Alexander, who is a two-time PGA Teacher of the Year, we met him recently. He loves the product. He's been helping us out. His students are buying the product from us. BGF Golf Academy. We've been on Golf Talk Live. You know, so I could go on and on by the people that are telling us they love the product, but with so many, you know, this is a big country, right? 50 yes. states and how many 16,000 golf courses in 2,800 2, golf stores. It's a, it's a very difficult endeavor to get the product in front of everybody, but it's persistence and it's just time. So we'll get there and, and we're, we're just on our upward trajectory now. That's awesome. That's yeah. fantastic. So we, we started our, our year last year going to these golf shows and these trade events, and we found quite a bit of success, but our, um, our most exciting one, I think, was when we went to the PGA Fashion Show down in Vegas. Fun. And they actually, uh, there was a demo day before the PGA show, and we participated in that. And the Golf Channel actually interviewed Rory and showed the shoot on the Golf Channel. So that was, you know, kind of our big claim to fame right there. And we were tweeting about it and letting everybody know that we were going to be on the Golf Channel. So Aww. just those little surprises and uh, recognition really give us great boost online. And people seek us out when they see that little stuff. That is awesome. So I have a really dumb question about this, and maybe, you know, I'm not the best golfer in the world, so let me just be disclose that. But um, can I bring it to the driving range and actually hit a ball with it on the golf club? No, you don't want to hit a ball with it on. What we want you to do is you put it on before you play or, you know, start hitting balls at the driving range. Warm up with it. Swing about 10 times. You don't have to swing at full strength. To start about 50% and then increase steadily to maybe about 80%. We're not trying to build muscle. We're just trying to target those fast twitch muscle fibers, which are essential for speed. So when you take it up, not only do you have the muscle memory, like Jen said, where you're actually starting your swing with your hips and you have that proper swing sequence, right. but you're also teaching yourself leg and you have that increased speed in your club at 5 to 10 miles an hour, which can increase you know, distance. 20, 30, sometimes even uh, 50 yards. So the cool thing, too, about this product is it works for everybody. Whether you're a pro or an amateur, uh, if you're a, a man or a woman, if you're young or if you're old. We have a gentleman here in town when we first joined the company and got manufacturing up, and we were shooting some video, and the gentleman that was uh, came out to our video shoot, he was 80 years old. And uh, he tried the golf shoot, and he we saw him a couple of days later at a different golf course. And he says, "You know what? I still feel the effects of using your shoot that day." Wow. And his buddy said, "You haven't played that well since you were 70." <laughs> so, you know, and the great thing too is that it, again, it doesn't weigh anything, and you can be, you know, 80 years old, and you can still benefit from this because no matter how good you are or how poor you are, yeah. um, I'm just a hacker myself, but even as you get older and you start to age, you still want to play your best. You still want to get up to that, you know, the, the tee and, and drive as far as you can to impress your friends. I mean, that's why I love playing golf. It's not all that in-between stuff on the fairway and putting. It's, you know, to have a big drive and go, wow, look at me. Um, and this product can help that, but it also keeps that muscle you know, toned up and ready to go on the off season. Right. So it's it's a great product at a great price point. We do have a thirty day money back guarantee, and 
And again, we're, we're made in the U.S., made by people with disabilities. So, you know, we're just trying to trying to get this brand up and going and get it into the hands of as many people as we can and hopefully do some good things here in the state of Idaho. That's awesome. Any um, any thoughts around different products or are you going to expand your line? Yeah, we have, um, like I mentioned earlier, the bat shoot. It's a, it's a bigger shoot than this one to catch more wind resistance. Uh, there are a couple companies that used to make a similar product that don't make it anymore. So we're starting to see a lot of interest there. Retired Major League Baseball players are now approaching us and wanting to uh, do some stuff with us. Our local Minor League Baseball team has them. They use them for batting practice, for pitching. Idaho State University quarterbacks are using their throwing shoot. Probably safer than weights, right? Safer than a weighted shoot as well. Safer than, yeah, safer than weights. Uh, we have uh, a couple uh, physical therapists locally that have them in their shops, particularly for their golfers, because as they're rehabbing and back to sport after surgery or an injury, it doesn't weigh anything. And they can exercise that movement in those muscles doing something that they like, swinging a golf club, for example, swinging a baseball bat. So we're seeing these augmented ways to use this product as well. So the other thing that we're going to be focusing on this year is our racket shoot for tennis players and racquetball players. Oh, nice. They're exactly the same thing. It provides just the right amount of wind resistance to you know really increase that fast twitch muscle fiber activity and to fire those in prime games so you can hit the ball harder and faster and serve better, as well as we're testing right now um, the hockey shoot that goes on the end of a hockey stick. Fun. Now, Dan and I are both from Minnesota, and um, I'm from northern Minnesota, just south of Canada, so played hockey all of my life and grew up in a small town where that hockey was life and to a lot of people back in that state, it still is. Um, and I grew up 20 miles from the United States Hockey Hall of Fame, so it's been a great opportunity for us to get our hockey shoots into the hands of coaches and people that we know back in Minnesota that are testing it right now and uh, trying out the product because we don't really have a lot of experience with it. And before we mass produce it, mass market it, we want uh, people to give us feedback. And one of the a professional hockey player from my hometown of Mount Nair in Minnesota. His name is Matt Niskanen, and I want to say he's the seventh highest paid defenseman in the NHL. And uh, he's got one of these hockey shoots now, and he's trying it out for us and going to give us his opinion and his feedback on it. So that's pretty cool. I love and, Joshua's uh, comment right here. First, I mean, this is what a great testimonial it is. First time I, ch I had to put my glasses on to read it. The screen wasn't far enough away from me. Could you tell? First time I tried it, I, I about swung out of my shoes. I said, wow, and I've been telling everyone about it ever since. Every yeah, and, wow, it's fun to watch. That's a pretty cool testimonial. You got a big fan yeah. of Joshua. And they, they, Joshua works with a lot of different products as well. So, you know, he knows. And Kathy as well. She knows what's a good product just, and what's not a good product. I think she, she just, heard her name because she just joined. <laughs> oh, good. There she is. So, you know, when we when we can get the product, again, in the hands of, you know, professionals and people that have this experience and the credentials like Kathy does, and they love it, you know, that's a great testimonial. We're, we're business people. And, you know, of course we're going to tell you it's the best product ever and to go ahead and buy it and all that kind of stuff. But you expect us to say that. That's and awesome. We'd be, we didn't. But having testimonials from from Kathy and Joshua like that and, and then have their partnership is invaluable. Tell me again, how long has Shoot Trainer been around? So we launched the product back in uh, uh, November of 2014. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh there we go. That's yeah. awesome. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. You're young still. So that's good. Awesome. Yeah, I also coach baseball along with my terrible golf career. <laughs> uh, so that's interesting. Uh, you this know, my web show kids. should be called The Unlikely Golfers. No. Yeah, it really should be. It really should. Well, be. we would join you right along with that. Yeah, believe me. 
<laughs> but uh, you, no, so that's interesting. I, you know, I, I saw that you offer the golf shoot, the baseball shoot, um, when I went to your site a few days ago. So i got to tell that you that already started going in my head. It, I mean, do yeah. they still use donuts in Little League? I don't no. know. The weights? I mean, it's so much safer. These kids are swinging bats all over the place with weights. I mean, the shoot training would be so much safer. Yeah, and you know, and it's, it's much more effective. Um, on our website, I have a video of uh, the discovery a couple of years ago had asked a question of whether, you know, when you put the donut on a baseball bat or you grab two baseball bats, they asked the question, does that really work and does that help you? So they went through this scientific study and they taped it and put it on a program. Well, I've got that segment on our, uh, of that video of that program on our website. And the first part of it is a, is Major League Baseball as a baseball player and all the science that they went through. And then it was a, a, a professional golfer, same sort of thing. So they, they had the baseball player swing the bat, hit a couple balls. They did all the measuring of his timing and how far he would hit it and the speed of the ball. And then they had them swing, you know, two bats, three bats at a time, and then go back into the batting cage and hit again. His timing was off. He didn't hit the ball as well. He didn't hit the ball as far. Then they took the professional golfer, and they did the same thing. They had him not even warm up, just start hitting balls, measured all of them, got a baseline. Then they had him swing a couple clubs together, waited. And then they had him go back to the driving range and hit again. And on average, he was hitting the ball 20 yards shorter. Mm -hmm. So people say at shows that we go to or people that we talk to, they say, oh, it's just like adding a weight to your club or using the weighted club to warm up. Well, no, it's not. It's totally different. And science has proven that that doesn't work as well as most people think or it goes against conventional wisdom. So with this, because it doesn't add weight and we're not adding so much resistance that you're transitioning from fast twitch muscles over to slow twitch muscle fibers, we're only priming and targeting those those fast twitch muscle fibers, which are key to the speed, and that's why people increase their club head speed after just six swings of this even. So if you can train with it three times a week, 10 minutes a day, and you can use it before every time you play, you're just going to have a faster swing in club head speed, and the more force you can apply to that ball, right, the more distance, it's, the further it's going to go. And I, we can't correct your slice or your your hook or something like that. Some some people joke that they go further off into the woods, but it's further than that. Well, Sorry, Colleen, can't help you there. <laughs> well, you know, hey, well, I you know I am a little nervous about like hitting it further if it's going to the right. <laughs> but, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but it would be nice, you know, especially as a woman, you know, we're talking Friday about why women should learn golf and why it's important. And there's this whole networking piece. And that's why we created networking golf, right? I mean, this is where business happens. 54% of deals happen there. But I, I think there's some value for a woman to, to use this because, I mean, you got to to be able to keep up and to go on the golf course and golf with men, which I have to do often. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but, um, you know, I'm still at the women's tees, and they're kind of waiting for me. I'm not a bad golfer, and I'm, you know, I shoot pretty straight and consistent, but not far. I mean, that would just change the game for me a little bit, because I am the one who, you know. Well, exactly. I mean, golf is really about, for the majority of us that play it, it's about having fun, Right. And when you can play fairly well, it's a lot more fun than if you, if you play poorly. Yeah. If you can keep up with the people that you're playing with, it just makes it much more enjoyable. And I think if, um, you know, Kathy Jensen has said several times, she just wants, as she teaches people, she wants them to have fun. She doesn't, she wants them to use their own swing and develop their own style, that sort of stuff, and she can coach them. Um, but if people are having fun, it's a better game. We can make the game grow, right? We're losing people in the sport of golf, in the game of golf, because expensive, right? The time that it takes to do it. And we see a lot of women drop out of it because it's still, unfortunately, considered a, a white male's game. Well, I, I have to tell you, and just in the situation that I told, it just shared, 
it's intimidating as a woman. If I have to go get on the golf course with three guys at golf and I have to talk business, it's intimidating to be that woman in that foursome. And unfortunately, it is business, right? I mean, but um, yeah, it's too bad that women are dropping off. And I think one of the cool things that we implemented with networking golf is the having the ability to have that novice as a handicap and beginner as a handicap. So hopefully one of our goals is not only to create this large, the largest golf networking referral group in the world, but to kind of change the game a little, make it a little less intimidating for people to get into it. But I love what you're doing, and I think part of that is making sure that people are prepared to be out there. And so I know that I'm going to talk about the shoot trainer. We, we're already talking about clinics and clinics with golf pros and beginners and golf etiquette courses for some of our business owners. And any tool that they can use that they're comfortable with that's going to make them better or stronger, you know, come on, like, like I mean, I, I should not, there's so many people that are way smarter than me on this call. But isn't I? I know my game is about confidence sometimes. Oh, absolutely right! Isn't that what business is about? Yeah, <laughs> you can go get stronger. I mean, the shoot trainer is going to give you confidence that you're going to hit that ball too. Right. So. Right. So we go ahead. Sorry. So the nice thing about it too is that it's so universal. So it's it's the same shoot that a man uses, that a woman uses, that a child uses that a pro or a beginner can use. There's not all of these other products that you have to purchase as you improve your game. You just keep going back to your original golf shoot and and it's going to keep working for you. The, the harder you're swinging, the more it's working for you. If you've got a gentle swing, it's still going to open up. It's still going to provide resistance and improve your game. So that's pretty exciting for us. You don't have to have several different lines in your family. If you only can afford to get one golf shoot, Everybody can use this. It. Fun for the whole family. Yeah, yeah. right. And typically, I mean, if you're golfing, golfing is an expensive sport, much like skiing is, right? So at 30 bucks, it's not going to break the bank. And if somebody exactly. bought it and they didn't like it, it's not like they're out a ton of money. Um, yeah. yeah. Hey, I think you've got the cool factor working for you. Right? So. I mean, uh, I think that's, that's kind of a funny thing that you bring that up, too, because the first show we ever went to was in Boise, Idaho, and we had no idea what we were doing. You know, we didn't know how it was going to go over. We had people swinging clubs in the aisles, and you can imagine how dangerous that is. <laughs> but we had, we had one gentleman that stood a couple booths down from us, and he was watching, and he was watching, and he came come over, and he talked to Jen, and then he'd go back, and he had just a lot of questions and, and watched quite a bit. Um, and then he came over, and he tried it, and he bought one immediately. And then he hung around a little bit later, and he started talking to us, and he said, you know, I was over there watching all of these people swinging that silly bag on the end of their club, and I thought, there's no way in hell that you would ever get me to swing a club with that thing on it. And after I tried it, I told myself, there's no way in hell I'm going to leave here with Bell Bible. Oh, that's pretty So Yeah, so he bought them, and we sold a lot of them at that show. And he came back the next day, and he says, you know, I just was out at the, at the driving range before I came here with my daughter, and I saw about three or four other people swinging the shoot trainer, the golf shoe. That's a good feeling. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's a that's a really good feeling, and I think that really validated our belief in the product, um, and and then that we were going in the right direction. And then when we went to the Spokane show, and we ended up that was probably our best show where we were really busy. We had a big booth, we had a lot of people coming in. We sold a lot, and that's where we met Joshua and Kathy. And again. People with those types of experiences in this industry and with Kathy's credentials and her willing to step up and say, you know what, I endorse this product. This is great. I'm going to have all of my students buy it, and I'm going to go promote it to the world. That says a lot. That says a lot for the product and, and the business and, and where we're trying to go with it. It hasn't been easy. We've had a lot of, a lot of failures. What did, <laughs> um, I love Elon Musk's... Um... There was a quote from him maybe a year year ago. 
you know, he's got all this, you know, he's doing so all these great things now. But he said, yes, I was an overnight success in 768 days. Or, or no, no, <laughs> what was it? 7,386 days or something like that. And you're like, Absolutely yeah, right. it's it's hard, but, you know, stick with it. And if you believe in it and, and you continue to get that feedback, and it sounds like an amazing product. I can't wait to get one and, and try it out. You know, it's also been really cool because we've had so much feedback from different industries and different people that are using this. At first, we thought that it would be a warm-up tool, and then we learned that it was a great training aid. And then we had people come to us and say, hey, you know, we'd like to maybe personalize it, put our logo on it, and use it as a corporate gift. So now we're in that avenue as well. So every time we have somebody get back to us about the way they're using the golf shoes, it just helps us improve how people can, can utilize it, how they can uh, share it with their friends, share it with their employees, improve everybody's game around them. So the feedback is so valuable to us. We, we love hearing back. We ask people when they purchase from our website at shoottrainer.com that they, they send us a reply. After they've used it a few times, we want to know what their thoughts are and if they have a different application for it. We can just help other people as we, as we learn with our customers. Okay, I got to tell you, so Scott posted on the side here, fail equals first attempt at learning. <laughs> and I love that. I, I mean, you guys, I remember the first time I tried to golf. I was with, I was engaged to this man, and we're on the golf course. He's an avid golfer. And before I even stepped up to the tee, he was like, straighten this, move this, take the step there. And I'm like, I haven't even got him to the tee yet. <laughs> and, he, you know, and do you remember? And it was a disaster. I don't even know that the engagement lasted to the ninth hole, you know. But it was the end of that relationship. But no, yeah. so you remember your first time golfing? You guys oh. got stories. Come on, tell your story. We gotta, we gotta end this call, wrap it up in a, in a fun. I want to hear your stories. Anybody who wants to kind of jump on and tell us your story about your first time golfing, I'd love to hear it. So I didn't grow up golfing, and uh, I was probably twenty-seven. The first time I even touched a golf club. And <laughs> You're so oh, crazy. This is how he gets all the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Tell my wife that, yeah. <laughs> Little side joke, but I heard you're on match.com. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we were out there. Roy was trying to teach me, and he was trying his best to be patient because I did not know what I was doing. And so finally, I just kind of quit listening to him, and then I started doing better. So we played for probably a year together, yeah. and then we got pregnant with our first kid. And so then we stopped playing. I stopped playing because we then had two more kids, and diapers were more important than a tea time. And we just recently got back into it. And I didn't lose a whole lot, but I didn't have a whole lot to lose. So... I'm still enjoying the game. I'm still improving my game. And I was that girl that could never keep up with the guys. I have a straight shot that doesn't go very far at all. But since I've been using this shoot, I am a little bit more confident. And sometimes I can even get a little cocky because I have such a great shot. And I keep up with the guys now. So it's pretty cool. I love the game. I don't play it as much as I should. But I'm really glad that Rory introduced me to golf. Awesome. It was good. Awesome. Rory, what about your first time golfing? Yeah, my sister had married a gentleman um, back up in northern Minnesota when I was just a kid. I was probably 13 years old, and he and his family were avid golfers, and his dad was at the golf course every day in Virginia, Minnesota, and they have a tournament named after him, and he was just a, a really, really good golfer. Well, his son that my sister married – um, was just a great golfer as well. But I remember we went into his garage and we took a bunch of old clubs and stuck them in an old bag. And, you know, it was like a, a driver, a three-wood, a pitching wedge, a putter, and maybe a five-iron. And he's like, just take these random clubs. And he took me out. I'll tell you what, at that young age, it was really difficult for me to get the hang of it. Um, but I ended up taking a, taking a liking to the game. 
and would play in the summertime growing up and just going out and having a good time. And of course, played when we could afford it in college. I think that uh, beer money always came first to college, right? <laughs> and if we had any money left over, we go to the golf course and drink beer there. Oh. But I always used to say, golf is the most fun you'll have being pissed off. And I think that still rings true for me today. That's funny. I remember you, you just brought back this memory. I remember my first set of clubs. So I had gotten this secondhand set of clubs so I could play. And um, clearly didn't invest any money or not nearly enough in it. So, you know, my, my ex is teaching me how to play and everything. And so finally I said, well, this isn't going to work. He's never going to be able to teach me. This is not good for our relationship. So I ended up hiring a pro. I showed up at the, at the um, whatchamacallit, driving range to meet the pro. He took one look at my clubs and he goes, well, no, no wonder you can't hit an effing thing. And I was like, oh, oh. my God. He goes, your clubs are about 30 years old and a foot too short. I'm like, who knew? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think, too, I, you know, some people just have the knack for certain things. Some people are just naturally athletic. Um, to give you an example, we took a, a short vacation out to California, and we went to L.A. over Christmas, New Year's. And our son is going to turn 15 pretty soon and wanted to use a snowboarder. We live in the mountains, and he's all about snowboarding. And he wanted to surf. So we rented him a surfboard, and... And we were telling them, it's not as easy as you think it is. It's going to be you know, really hard for you to do this. And you might get really frustrated trying to go out there and surf. Because we obviously don't know anything about surfing. But he went out there. He paddled out. sat on his board. Started watching the waves. First wave came in. He's paddling hard. He pops up on that board. And he surfs it all the way in the shore. And he's oh. giving us a thumbs up. And you're like, oh, well, we're in trouble. We get yeah. one here now. Second time same thing popped up he was surfing just as well as the rest of those guys who were out there that day and I, I just think sometimes you know some people just have a knack for certain things so um i wish my knack was golf i'm sure kathy since she's on her knack is definitely golf okay. um but it's a fun game anyway Scott, Scott, I know you got a story. You got to tell me about your first time golfing. You I knew was, I wasn't going to let you off the hook. I got to hear this. I was this. afraid of this. I was afraid of this. So <laughs> this was the first time I golfed. I was invited by a friend of mine who's been who had been golfing for probably about twenty years of his life. He, as a kid, he used to work at the golf course, the local golf course, as a uh, a caddy and did some other things there. <clears throat> I'm going to train you how to play golf. So he told me nothing. I show up and, and I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> didn't know this was frowned upon um they, they let me play anyway this was in july so it was extremely hot and humid had no idea had no idea that golf um I, i'm thinking you know i played baseball i played football I'm, i can do this right and uh it 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 does take a toll on you after 18 holes um and then there was also a coyote roam in the course so that was that was interesting <laughs> Uh, yeah, something you know, I won't forget. That's for sure. That's awesome. Roy and Jennifer, you guys are awesome. I love your product. I think that you, I wish you guys the world of luck. Reach out if you need any help or ideas. I'd be happy to help. And um, I just look forward to I look forward to watching your trajectory. It's awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys reaching out to us and having us on. It's as you know, with Small Business USA, I mean, networking and getting in front of people, sharing ideas and sharing products, it's, it's what it's about yeah. and supporting each other. And, you know, we're, we have a long way to go and we, we get it. You know, building a business isn't, it certainly isn't a sprint. You hear that all the time. It's a marathon. In fact, it's an ultra marathon, right? We're, we're, we're doing 50 miles. We're doing 100 miles to to build this company and it's been a lot of fun and every failure that we've had we've learned from um, and and hopefully all these failures at one point add up to success and we're getting there and we're seeing the traction and we're looking forward to a successful 2016 not only growing the adult product but growing our other product lines as well and, and working on those so we appreciate you guys having us on this on this program 
And we just can't thank you enough for giving us time to explain the product and show the product. And I hope that the people listening will go check out our videos, check out our website, um, and do a little research. There's some good, good reviews out there on our product. And, you know, ask Kathy. You know, she's on this call. You can hit her up at um, golfresultsnow.com and ask her what she thinks of it. And you'll see she's coming from a PGA Pro. So, um we just really appreciate the help. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate that. So thank you. Happy if, to uh, much, I guess, huh? We've got a couple more minutes left, guys. If anybody wants to jump on and ask a question from, from the uh, team at Shoot Trainer. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, thank you guys again for coming on. Uh, we really appreciate it. We uh, will definitely, I'll definitely be, I'll, I'm going to get one for golf and one for baseball. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to. My son plays baseball. I do want him to try golf, but there's not really a whole lot of options here for teaching kids golf and definitely doesn't want to learn from me. <laughs> um, hey, is it worth to say, I think we have a couple um, free memberships left still, Scott, for networking golf? We do. Uh, if you're in um, one of the areas, and I don't have the list in front of me, but, uh, you know, just go to, to – uh, Go to networkinggolf.com. I would give it a few minutes because I may have screwed something up on the site. But if you go there, a, a pop-up will come up, and uh, you can sign up there. Or you could just go to the opposite, golfandnetwork.com, and sign up there. We have uh, free memberships in uh, 25 different areas. Um, also, we – oh, Kathy's coming on. We um we will be back Friday at noon our time Eastern. Hello, Kathy. Hi. Hey, I just want to say, give you a quick kind of a, a pop up on the golf shoot. It's awesome, and the reason why I like it because you do get golf golf results now. And whether you're a new golfer or not, it just helps really enhancing the circular swing that you don't develop right away. You'll get instant feedback and and. You'll get power, yes, but it also helps with the actual elliptical circle. So I uh, highly recommend that. That's why I endorsed it, and I just think it's a wonderful product by far. So uh, go for the golf shoot, definitely. That's awesome. Thank you for that. There's your yeah, it sounds like person. there's a lot of loving going on between the yeah, three. Definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That'll be everywhere in a, in a little while, probably by tomorrow the latest. And uh, – Oh, Eugene says, can't wait for Network and Golf to kick off. Thanks, Eugene. Uh, so we will be back Friday at noon Eastern uh, with a guest from Arizona. So I don't know if that's two hours. I think it's two hours behind us again. So they'll be on at 10 a.m. Their time, uh, her name is Corey uh, Alberti. She owns Girls Golf of Phoenix. And we're going to talk about why women need to learn golf. Colleen requested it, and we got a guest right away. And uh, so we're going to talk to Corey and Colleen about why women need to learn golf. Right, right, Colleen? Absolutely, absolutely. We're right here at blab.im slash network and golf. And Fred says, good luck, Scott. And I just started out going. Oh, I know why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep keep me posted as to when you can get you. Uh, oh, thank you. So it could be, it could be either one of us, um, Fred. So Colleen can log in as well. Uh, I know Fred, so I, I'm almost positive. So Fred, if I'm wrong on this, correct me. But you uh, you have Mondays at 8:30 p.m. my time, which I know you're in a different time zone. So 5:30 your time, right? I'm Blab, and then you were also on tonight, or maybe it's 8 p.m. It might be 8 p.m. my time. Try to do 8 p.m. on Mondays. Okay, so 8 p.m. Eastern Monday, 5 p.m. on the West Coast, which is where he is. Uh, he's on, so check him out. He's, he's always got somebody on with him. Um, I've been popping in on his shows with my other ID because uh, Colleen and I also have regular shows. I'm on Friday mornings with Eugene, who's also here. Nice, Yev, Jenny. I don't know what that means, but he's on with me 10 a.m. Eastern. We do a, a, a small business show, and then Colleen has a show on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm under the same id small biz ct so you know we're always on here and you guys you yeah, know you and joshua you and joshua should use this platform really because uh if there's a if if there's a way to uh expand your your name get your brand out there more 
Uh, Yevgeny is his birth name. I did not know that, Eugene. I've known you all this time, and I did not know that. Um, but this is a great platform. Uh, it's growing. It's still in beta. I tell people all the time, top left beta. But yeah, use it, guys. Really, it's free. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you being on the call, and um, we look forward to. You know, we we definitely need to talk about. You know, maybe we can get shoot trainer on our website under. You know, you know we're gonna we'll launch um, our goal, and and I don't see why we wouldn't hit our goal is. Our goal is March 1st. It looks like we're on track to have 7,200 members and to launch. And we've talked to a lot of golf courses. Like there's hundreds of golf courses on board and lots of um, ways to save money by being a member of Networking Golf that we're working. But more importantly, it's about helping business owners, business leaders, anybody who has to golf and network at the same time. It's kind of, it's helping you put it together easier and make it happen. It gives you a reason to golf again, right? So, um, yeah, let's let's see if we can we can help each other out with that because I, I think you have a great product and you know we'd love to kind of showcase it as uh, one of the things on our site. So like one more time, that is shoottrainer.com, correct? That's yep. correct. Shoottrainer.com. Yep. Uh, so check that out. Very affordable, good results. Check it out. Yep. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. No problem. Bye. Have a great night. Thank you, Rory and Jennifer, for coming on. We appreciate it. Bye-bye. Awesome. Bye. Thanks for everybody participating. Scott?